you used to have to migrate or go all the way down to the stability menu to do that. Yeah, exactly. And now we have uh, we've expanded a certain feature yeah. that we've. Uh, I mean, was really when cool we make already. these patches next patch, we I mean we go through and add lots of stuff that mm. we that we you know when we play the game we felt is needed. So right. if you go to the macro build menu, as right here, it, lack of a better word. For those people that haven't seen it yet, I ho I hope you're ready. Uh, be, get your pants, you know, get have some dry pants ready to go because here it is. Bam! It's been expanded. Yes. Significantly so, expanded. Yeah. <laughs> um. So basically, I mean, before you could build buildings, ships, and uh, yeah, armies, ships, and, and uh, buildings. And uh, now we added all the other province-based buildings as well. And we also separate the one where you add it, we separate the ships and units. First of all, now you can build, if you don't click so fast. Oh, sorry. Uh, first of all, you, what you have, you can make cores, mm -hmm. the plus thing there. Right here. Uh, right now, Pensacola is not a core. Exactly. And if you look closer, at right Pensacola, you just zoom in on Pensacola. You can see there, you know what, how for how much it's scored already is that, and how much it's gonna it's, cost you. Yeah. It's just gonna cost you four power. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a colony. Yeah, so. uh, and the next one is missionaries. I don't think actually you have any other religions. Uh, I can switch to the Persians. I think the Persians have lots of religions. Uh, attack per. There we go. So let's go okay. and uh, take a look at their religions. There we go. It's a exactly. whole bunch of religions. So there you can quickly, you know, see exactly what how long it takes to to uh, change religions to certain provinces, uh, and you can also see it on the map to see how much it would cost, how long it is left, and this kind of stuff. Mm. And then after that, you have harsh treatments, something I used extensively <laughs> as I played the Uspex in the latest multiplayer game. Yeah. Where you can sort of like, okay, send send the troops to all these provinces because otherwise the rebels are going to kill me. Exactly. Make sure that make sure they don't uh, yeah. steal the plants to that Death Star sort of thing. Yeah. I still think we need I still think we need an, ev an event where if there's too many rebels that they steal the plants for your latest battleship. No, or we something. don't. Oh, come on, <laughs> come on. Minus minus yeah. one, minus one stab right and there. And then we have the culture change. Exactly. Um, so I can send I can send uh, the the, yeah. the the points right here to change exactly. the culture, for instance. So that is uh, that is actually. No, really actually, cool. we changed something there. If you oh. go into to that, can you hover over the culture? No, you can send. Give me. I'm just good at explaining. Uh, Azerbaijani. There's no Azerbaijan, right? We changed it so that you can actually not change out the culture whose whose uh, primary nation still exists. So that you know, if if. Um, Let's say in this case you want to go to change the culture in Pra Saxony. Yeah, but Saxony is some sort of German culture. Okay, nation, uh, right? all right, so uh, not a German culture then. How about uh, Kiva? Yeah, what kind of culture do they have? They, we, each culture has like... No, They're Uzbek, your yes. favorite. Can you change... Can uh, they, uh, they are Uzbek, or...? Yeah, they are Uzbek. No, but the nation. What's the nation? Kiva. Yes, tag to Kiva. Okay. I was, I was a bit confused there. Uh... K-H-I, yeah. There we go. And then go to click one of their provinces. And what what, what is their home? Uh, no, they are Uzbek. They are uh, uh, they are originally Uzbek. No, it's actually Turk, Turkmen and Kazakhs. Yeah. Oh, hover over that. The culture thing again. I'll take. Yeah, anyway, each, <laughs> each, <laughs> each culture group has, or each culture has... Uh, has its sort of like founding nation, basically, right. or some of them have. Right. And what we added in to, to sort of keep people from just obliterating cultures mm. straight off the bat, we have this kind of protection so that mm. as long as the nation that is the core of this culture group exists, you can't really just wipe out the right. culture. Mm -hmm. In basically that once the nation disappears, then that culture can also gradually move out. Right. So you're kind of forced to take over more provinces that have that culture, so you can integrate it into your country for yeah, exactly. But because it's not supposed to be something that you just wipe out. It's mm -hmm. supposed to be something that causes friction in big empires. Um, here's uh, somebody in the chat actually mentioned the final two religions that we uh, actually mm -hmm. missed. It's Ibadi and Coptic. Exactly. What, is, what has changed there? What is what is well, what is new they, about they them? They now exist. <laughs> yeah, but do they have any functionality aside from 
Uh, there they are, Coptic. Yeah. And Ibadi, there they are. Yeah, exactly. So Coptic is basically the religion of the Ethiopians, and Ibadi is basically the religion of Oman. So if you go to Oman, yeah. you go into religion, and there they are, Ibadi. Yeah. The Ibadi is a version of, of Muslims, so they have the piety at the moment. They were originally, I can see K2, for instance, they were originally a heresy and are now officially an actual yeah. religion. And, there, so. and, and you also have, like, they get what, morale of navies and... Uh, morale of navies, increased chance of, of a new air by 100%, and local missionary strength is lower because they are not really all that prolific when it comes to uh, converting people. Yeah, exactly. And then you have the Coptics. So Ethiopia. Oh, I like uh, the cross there. Yeah, it's there we go. Cool the Coptic cross. Yeah. Uh, tolerance of uh, the true faith plus, yeah. three, uh, plus two for defense plus 10%, which they're going to need for the Mamluks. And local missionary strength, again, minus 2%. They're not that, all that keen yeah. on... Uh, yeah, the Sikhs are much better at yeah. I don't think Sikhs are in this. Oh, there they are. There's Sikhs here. Yeah, oh. there's, there's definitely Sikhs. That's uh, It's part of the Mughals, though. So we can actually... Okay, yeah, you can go to the Mughals and you can release that nation, I think. Uh, let's see then. Tag... Uh, Mughals. The Muggles. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, dip. Uh, view your country. No, uh, view your country. Then create, create vassals. vassals and, and we need to create... Punjab. Punjab. Send... And that should. Uh, and then uh, pick the tag. the religion thing. Oh, I tagged Punjab, so of course. And now we're Punjab, and there we go. We no, they they became Sunni, I don't think. Oh, interesting. Uh, but they are Sikh though, because oh, we can okay. just hover over yeah. and seek. So the Sikh adds morale of armies plus five percent, um, min uh, minus five percent military technology cost. That's a pretty big one. And yeah. then again, local missionary yeah. strength. I mean, the five. Sikh religion is really gonna need. A good boost because yeah. because as, at the start of the game it doesn't really exist it has to form mm. out of so so we actually made the seek seek religion the, the spreading mechanic and that you know it, it doesn't really take over the whole of india right but it's going to be pretty hard to kill mm. uh, and once it can form it can be pretty pretty hard to kill that right it's like well. a weed it's difficult exactly. to, to exterminate it, so you have like the difference that the seek is a new Sikhism is a new dynamic religion mm -hmm. that that sprouts up and spreads mm -hmm. while the coptic religion for example is an, is uh is an ancient religion that is trying to sort of hold on basically yeah they, the they they are pretty much only existing in like weird abbeys in the middle of nowhere in the desert of ethiopia and the south of these, egypt these days they are quite the actually, really in egypt especially in egypt hmm. because a lot of a lot of people uh, they, they're fairly geographically constrained but hmm. there are lots and lots of cops out there hmm. been in the news uh, regarding this oh yeah the 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 uh, the, uh, yeah. the the um, the, uh, the spring yes the spring, spring. Yeah. The, the spring thing yeah. Yeah, that thing that happened in the middle east you yeah. know that thing that's going on there um, we're kind of getting... It's, it's these kind yeah, of, you know, yeah. small flavor things that we like to add. Is there any particular religion that you want to add? I want to add. That, you, that you're thinking by yourself, wow, this is a religion we need. Honestly, I'm not the one who comes up with new religions, but, mm. you know, when people want to add new religions, you know, I'd ask them how long it's going to take, and then mm. we add them, basically, because, I mean... Flavor is, is what makes you know new things happen mm. in this game and adds more real. How about, how about the religion of the uh, of the feathered snake? Possibly, mm -hmm. possibly. I mean, one cool thing with the personal deity is actually is that <laughs> that um, it can actually be. Norse? I mean, it yeah, it can be changed. Mm. If you can reuse the same system, mm. make the mod in the same system mm. to add personal deities in other religions, we could basically. So have, any system that has polytheism will be able yeah, to have personal deities. Right. And pick your rulers, and you can add different bonuses for different gods and mm. add events for them. And, you know. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um. So we kind of we have we have two more points before the uh, before the end of the day. Right. Um, free content patch. What do we have? What, do we, what else do we have? That's well, added in the past for the stuff that we have. I mean, we, we did lots of interface changes, like right. the, like the uh, the um, the macro builds. Yeah, the macro build thing. I don't know. It actually doesn't really say macro build anywhere in the game. No, I don't know. I and think so it's like sometimes, it sometimes grew I wonder out of the if, game. If, if people people here we we call it macro build all the time. But sometimes I wonder if the players actually know what I'm talking about when I say the macro. Build. Well, <laughs> it's a good thing that we have the screen in front of us so we can yeah. actually show them what we yeah. mean. <laughs> and one one other thing we did with that we changed the blockade system. Mm. Uh, I mean because I mean this this trade expansion is going to be a, I mean lots of war goals is about blockades and wanted to be doing more interesting. Let's take a look if you can actually blockade and if we're blockading. Yeah, you're at you're Sweden. You who who are you at war with? Uh, that would be uh, Russia, and it's not going very well. 
the, oh, the yes. great Nordic, great Nordic war. Oh yeah, so their fleet is bigger than yours, right? Uh, I don't see any ships actually. I see the Danes, but they're not. Oh, there we are. Oh, here's yeah. uh, here's some uh, blockading going on. Exactly. So basically, now it used to be that one ship blockades one province or one mm -hmm. sea zone even. I just detached one ship in every place, and then you blockade the whole coastline. Right. But now instead we changed it so that the the higher the, the base tax of a province, mm -hmm. uh, the more ships you need to actually fully blockade it. And you can see there they have forty ships there, so of course they're not gonna have any problems. Yeah, they also. they get the hundred percent. Right. Uh, but and but if they get less than hundred percent, for example, they're not gonna get the siege bonus. Uh, and and you also to blockade the coastline, you need to blockade like the high value tax province with lots of ships. Right. Uh, and that's going to be an, a better strategy than to just, you know, detach one ship on every place. So it's going to be a bit more... It, it's going to feel more realistic. The, the, you know, you blockade the important ports instead of, like, spreading out your one little ship yeah. outside the backwater province to mm. intercept all this trade. And exactly. Kind of and what did we change more? Um... Uh, you added stars to generals. If you have an army... You can now see that there's a, uh, a general attached to it. Inter yes, exactly. You added actually little stars. And, and when, when we're on the subject of pick a country that's not, that is at peace. Uh, ah, yes, you saw the stars there. there you can is. see that this, this uh, army has a two-star general. I've gotten so used to that feature even now. It's that pretty old, actually. It was, very, it was implemented pretty early. So let's tag yeah. into so I, I, you know, I keep uh, the Commonwealth. Yeah. That's Comanche.